Welcome to the fifth dimension. Oh man, the fog machine goes under the folding card table. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I signed up for this game. Alright, tell me, what's the plan? Network action or home action? Home sweet home. How many people? You're home alone? Isn't that a little scary? You know, sort of like scream or something? You wanna go online? Okay, what exactly is it you're going by these days? Alright, that'll do it. Your buzzer is the letter B, as in Butrus Butrus Galley. Okay, this is how things are gonna work. Use your buzzer to buzz in and answer a question. Hit one, two, three, or four if it's multiple choice, or start typing if you need to fill in a blank. All other question types will be explained once you get there. Good luck, you yeah? know? I hope your face isn't all zitty. where high culture and pop culture collide. Hey, welcome to the show. Glad you could be here. But I gotta warn you, I may be going into labor any second. You see, I'm pregnant with Bigfoot's love child. That's right, shocking secrets revealed, the tabloid episode. How you doing? Schmitty here. So glad you could make it. This was at the top of my to-do list. Are there any questions? Too bad, time to begin. All you have to do now is buzz in and we'll get a value for the next question. Your value is... 4,500. Alright, give it up for... He's only mostly dead. Brace yourself, this might sting a little. Where was the first Elvis sighting? Memphis, Tennessee, Lexington, Kentucky, Birmingham, Alabama, or East Tupelo, Mississippi? No, that's where they keep the eternal Twinkie burning in his memory. <laughs> Elvis has entered the building. The king was born in East Tupelo, Mississippi. He died sometime in early 96 when the alien spacecraft that abducted him crashed into the Eiffel Tower. Go ahead and pick him out. Let's see what this one's worth to you. 4,500. Here's a little something I call Urban Legends of the Prairie. Ready? Here's the question. Suppose you have to take your gerbil to the emergency room because he stuck something up his butt. Which of these would you most likely fill in under patient's race? Thai, German, Canadian, or Mongolian? Nope, sorry. Tie again later. The most commonly kept household gerbil is your Mongolian gerbil. Although that story is not nearly as embarrassing as the hamster who had to have his stomach pumped because... <laughs> well, never mind. Buzz in for the amount. Let's see how much you can win this time. 1750. The category is... Show me the Mooney! Think fast, it's question time. Because he accepted money from the Moonies, what former president would you expect to repay the favor by shaving his head and bothering people at airports? George Bush, Ronald Reagan, Jimmy Carter, or Gerald Ford? You should have bought a vowel. For the curious, here's the right answer. If you believe everything you read in the Washington Post, Bush received at least a hundred grand from the Reverend Moon. Read my lips. Must give money to Moonies. Must not resist. I am the walrus. Cuckoo kachu. Grab that value.
And here's what you're working with. 2,250 smackers. I think it's about time to take care of those pesky insects. <laughs> Welcome to Bug Out! Okay, listen up, this is really easy. All you have to do is buzz in to squash the bugs that don't belong. For example, if the clue is red things, just hit your buzzer on the bug that doesn't belong, which in this case is the thing that is not red. If you're wrong, I'm gonna have to take away some cash. If you're right, well then I'll give you some cash. And you'll be heading toward a final round value of 2,250 smackers. Okay, the dirt's about to fly, so let's go. Astrological symbols, buzz in when you see one that isn't. about Richard Gere! Plastic surgery procedures! Star Trek aliens! Elizabeth Taylor, ex-husbands! <laughs> Actual tabloid! Buzz in when you see one that's just made up! Not bad, not bad. Shall we move along here? Grab a value! Here's your total value for this one. 4750. Open wide and get ready for quit playing with your balls. Hey, you think getting caught showing your Mooney in public is embarrassing? Check this out. If a tabloid photographer caught Marco Mira scratching his balls, what type of balls would they most likely be? Soccer balls, tennis balls, basketballs, or golf balls? He'd never be able to fit soccer balls into his pants. You want to see what the smart money says? He's a golfer. See, there's your difference right there. Tiger Woods, he never scratches his golf balls. Unless they're really itchy. Time to choose a value. And here's what you can win on this question. 1750. I'm calling this one Body and Spud of Christ. All right, so you know how every once in a while a potato pops up somewhere that looks like Jesus? Yeah, that's right. Well, imagine you take the Jesus potato and dice it, mix in some onion and parsley and cook it in bacon drippings. What delicious dish have you prepared? Jesus hash browns, Jesus french fries, Jesus potato au gratin, or scalloped Je You really ought to get that looked at. What, you never ate breakfast before? Blessed are the starchy, for they are rich in potassium. Get a value! And this one's gonna be worth 2,500. The category is hung like an elephant. Okay, let's go. If Hannibal had tried to cross the Alps on the back of the elephant man, where would his long journey have begun? London, Paris, Berlin, or Moscow? Survey says... You are not an animal. At least not a very bright one. Joseph Merrick, a.k.a. the Elephant Man, was from England. You probably noticed he had bad teeth. 
Pick a value. Here's the price tag. Fifty-two fifty. All right, flesh butt spits. I'm poor. It's time. Make a race test run. Okay, I'm gonna show you a gibberish phrase. You figure out what it rhymes with and buzz in. The faster you move, the more cash you make. Right out of the gate, this one's gonna be worth fifty-two fifty. All right, have a listen to this and tell me what newsworthy phrase it rhymes with. Oh, and you can ignore all that punctuation, okay? Hex drug, hex drug, bleed Paul of grout. Now's the time to type in your answer and hit that return key. I don't know. Does anybody really bother to read the newspaper anymore? I mean, I get all my information off of the E Entertainment Network. Yeah. Why? Just the other day, I heard that the U.S. Senate is wild on Rio. How about a value? The value for this question is twenty-two hundred and fifty smackers. Your category is going to be pop goes the bubble. Forward march. Say the boy in the plastic bubble wins the lottery. If he upgrades to a bubble made of white gold, what will be insulating him from the rest of the world? Gold and tin, gold and silver, gold and bronze, or gold and nickel? Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver, and the other wrong. White gold is made up of gold and nickel. I'll tell you what, he'd be even richer if he had a nickel for every time somebody played the "Oh no, I'm falling on your bubble while holding scissors" trick. Pick a value. The value for this one is four thousand dollars. May I introduce? Double X isn't as good as triple X. All right, tuck it in. We're moving. What could follow a tabloid headline that begins "Extreme Xenotransplantation"? John Wayne Bobbitt gets pig penis. Lucy Lawless pregnant by lesbian lover. Kathy Lee going to jail. Or Tanya Harding moves objects with mind. <laughs> Lucy Lawless pregnant by. I'm sorry. I had a thing going. Uh, does this ring a bell? Xeno transplantation is when you transplant organs from one animal to John Wayne Bobbitt or any other animal. I'll tell you, it gives a whole new meaning to the phrase "pork the other white meat." <laughs> oh man, poor guy. He's never gonna live that down, is he? Take a value. Okay, keep close tabs on that value. Prepare yourself for the steely gaze of a dissertat. The category for this dissertat question is Madonna spotted with Sasquatch. Okay, I'll read off seven statements, and you tell me whether each one is an accepted truth about Sean Penn, a generally accepted belief about Bigfoot, or both. As each one comes up, if it's true about Sean Penn, press one. If it's true about Bigfoot, press two. If it's both, press three. And if you want to skip it, press four. You cash in for each one you get right, and you're giving me some cash for each one you get wrong or you don't get to. All right, give me 30 seconds on the clock. It's showtime. Attack journalist with a rock, John Pitt. Often seen in British Columbia. Considered a bipedal hominid. Captured in California. Caught on film by Malik. First spot in the 19. One more. Sometimes. That's it. You see, now this is my fault. I wasn't clear enough on the instructions, was I? Um, I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab an amount. This one comes in at. Three thousand dollars. This category is known as "In Search of Robert Stack's Grammar." Last one in is a rotten egg. What's an unsolved mystery? A redundant title for a TV show, an oxymoronic title for a TV show, an anachronistic title for a TV show, or a hyperbolic title for a TV show. We say oxy, 
you say moron? Axi! Moron! Axi! Moron! The correct answer is... A redundancy means saying the same thing twice. By definition, a mystery is unsolved. I mean, come on, once it's solved, it ain't a mystery. Which is precisely why they're changing the name of the show to Solved Mysteries. The new show is going to focus on people who thought they lost their car keys, but then found them in their pants pocket. Try and choose a value. Let's see what the total amount on this one is. Five grand. Coming at you, life's the armpits. Let's do it. Since he, she was the first American to have a widely publicized sex change, who actually needs a deodorant that's strong enough for a man but made for a woman? George slash Christine Jorgensen, Herbert slash Leslie Frykowski, Jerry slash Jerry Adams, or Glenn slash Glenda Jackson? No, no, no. My close personal friend, Jerry Adams, did not have a sex change. Although he would look mighty fine in a little red strapless number. Uh, you stink. As a precautionary measure just before the surgery, doctors asked George to raise his hand, raise his hand, if he was sure. Value time. The total amount for this one is... 3500 bucks. Hey, I know. How about who married Tony Randall? Okay, free your mind. Who married Tony Randall? His childhood nanny, Jack Klugman, the former Princess of Monaco, or a woman 50 years younger than him? You make me feel like a natural woman. <coughs> oh, my teeth, my teeth. God bless his wrinkled soul. In 1995, Tony Randall somehow married a woman 50 years his junior. Boy, I was a big fan of Paul McCartney when he used to be back in the Beatles. You mean he was in a band before Wings? <laughs> Choose an amount. Okay, prepare yourself. Great things are about to happen. You are about to embark upon the attack. Pay close attention to the items on the screen. Buzz in when you see two that match. If you're right, you make money. If you're wrong, you lose money. And remember... Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Yellow journalism is so pissy. So, see this morning's headlines? Yeah. Good luck. So I hope it makes you stronger. Let's see if it killed your final score. There it is. You know, you kind of remind me of a dead animal on the side of the road on a hot summer day. You stink. Listen closely now. There's a fly buzzing in your ear. It's saying, You know Jack! And now, the St. Joseph's Historically Inaccurate Boys Choir.
Genghis Khan was a merry old man, and a very hairy man was he. He invaded Alaska from the north and taught penguins how to speak Chinese. Oh, after the battle he was quite hungry, so he went to a KFC, where he ordered coleslaw, mashed potatoes, and chicken day rotisserie. Hey, who likes ice cream? I do! Well, that's right, Bobby. And who likes ponies? I do, I do, I do! You betcha, Susie. And what about roller coasters? I do, I do! You got it, Tommy. And how about pornography? That's my favorite! Lay on, Grandpa. I think we all know where we're going. Oh, awesome. Excellent! Pornography! You really want fun for the whole family? Then come on down to Uncle Jack's amusement park, bedding zoo, ice cream parlor, rifle range, and porn emporium. We know what families like. Hey, what are you doing? I'm lonely. Are you? Call me. 1-800-HOT-BOTS. Let's go out. I was up for a night of hot woman on robot action. Well, I got what I wanted. Plus, at the end of the night, my robotic escort really put out. Give me a call. 1-800-HOT-BOTS. I'm waiting by the phone. Plus, at the end of the night, I really put out. John, good buddy? Over. I'm not your buddy. Over. What? Over. Don't call me buddy. Over. Well, why not? Over. I don't really know you. Over. Well, I'm a nice guy. Over. That doesn't make us buddies. Over. Well, can I call you an acquaintance? Over. Yeah, that would be okay. Over. Got your ears on good acquaintance? Over. Whoa, whoa. I wouldn't say we were good acquaintances. Over. What? Over. Over. <laughs>